Hey folks, how you doing? My name is David and this is my first YouTube video. Uh, I've been a web developer for over 10 years and during this time I've always wanted to break into the mobile app space, specifically the iOS mobile app development space. Uh, I just, I'm a big Apple fanboy. <laughs> I love Apple and everything that they do and I've always wanted to get an app into the App Store and I just never been able to do it. Uh, I actually tried to learn um, way back during the Objective C days and I haven't, it, it just really didn't click for me. Uh, and so I just kind of retreated back to the web. Uh, in 2014 when Swift was announced, I think that was the year, um, I was kind of, I was drawn back to it and I dabbled with it for a little while and I got a little bit more serious about it, but it just didn't stick and I didn't commit to um, getting something out. Uh, I've been somewhat flirting with Swift ever since then, and I've just never actually been able to uh, commit to actually getting an app out into the App Store. Uh, this year, uh, when Swift UI was announced, I decided that this was the year. This is the year in 2019 that I finally get an app out into the App Store. And I thought, what better way to keep myself accountable than by sharing uh, on YouTube? And that's what this channel is going to be basically all about. Uh, I'm interested in doing streams and kind of these video updates to see, um, you know, as a way to kind of keep myself in, in the game and keep myself uh, building my app. Uh, and I have an app idea that I'd like to share. So the app is a working title. I'm calling it Memento. And it's inspired by an app that I used to use a long time ago. And it's essentially just a list that helps you remember things that you want to check out. So like if a friend comes up to you and tells you that you've got to read this new book or you got to check out this new movie or uh, here's a, brew a brewery that you really want to go check out. Uh, you know, what I basically have done in the past is either use the notes app on the iPhone or I've ended up using this other app uh, back when it was actually updated and, you know, maintained. Uh, and so, I really wish that app had continued to have been developed and maintained, and I wish they had added features that essentially would make the experience a little bit better. And I thought, well, this might be a good first app for me. Um, it's a really simple app, I think. It's not anything. It's not anything complicated. It's essentially just a list of things um, that you want to check out. You want to remember. Uh, this first screen is essentially just a list. Um, the second screen that I have here is the form to create it. It's a really simple thing. You, you know, you you add this plus button that's over here on this screen. You get taken to this form where you can add in, you know, the name of the thing you're trying to remember. You tap an icon that shows you, you know, is this a book? Is this a movie? Is this a person? Is it a product? You know, you hit save and you either go back to the list or you can add more details. And here is like where uh, the other app kind of fell short is, you know, I wanted to always be able to upload images. Uh, I wanted to be able to search for things. So I have a search bar here, all sorts of things that kind of just give some quality of life updates to this app that I used to use. Uh, and so that's what I'm going to be doing um, throughout this entire uh, series or I don't know, this channel uh, is basically what I want to do is I want to document kind of how I build this app, uh, everything from, you know, how I manage it in GitHub, you know, I want to set up the project. As you can see, like I've literally done nothing. I don't even have uh, a code base started or anything. I'm going to start from the very, very beginning and kind of share with you all the stuff that um, uh, that I'm going through in learning. One of the things that I really want to do is I want to build this in Swift UI. It's the new hotness. And for a while I was debating, I was going back and forth between Swift UI and UI kit. And I was really struggling here because there's an infinite amount of resources for UI kit and there's just nothing out there really for Swift UI. There are a lot of like new posts and articles that are coming out and YouTube videos, 
I mean, I think there's even like Udemy courses, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. Um, but it's relatively new, right? It like it's still in beta, and I expect it to change. But I think that's fine. I think this is the future of iOS development. I don't really care about backwards compatibility with older versions of iOS. Uh, I'm really building for uh, the future. And it's a simple app that I really just want to get out. And I really just want it to be like my first, uh, my first attempt here at getting something out this year. Um, I'm really excited about this and I'm not really sure where this is going to go. Uh, I'm really hoping that uh, I can yeah, I'm kind of thinking that maybe I'll do something like stream once a week and maybe post a, like a video update once a week, uh, talking a little bit about kind of what I've learned during that week. I want to work on this app every single day and kind of jot down the things that I'm learning and the, like my progress and then kind of have a recap at the end of the week. Um, and then maybe do a live stream of myself actually working on this thing. Uh, so I'm not really sure where this is going to go, but if this sounds interesting to you. Uh, be sure to follow along. I'd love to have you uh, along to tag along with me and maybe I can ask you some questions if you know more than me about this stuff. Uh, or maybe you can ask me some questions. You know, I am an experienced developer, uh, but I have no idea. Really, I'm very, very new to iOS. Uh, I have been flirting with it for like the last, you know, 10 years really. Uh, but I really don't know much about it. I'm, I'm very new to it all. Uh, but I am an experienced developer, and so there's some benefits to that because I don't really have to learn programming. I just really have to learn the ecosystem, and I have to learn the best practices of this um, of this area of, of development. And so, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it, and I uh, hope you are too. And if you aren't, well... Uh, I'm not really sure why you're watching till the end of this video, but if you are, <laughs> definitely uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. All right. Bye-bye.